Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This video, we're looking at the NFL prize picks plays for Sunday, week 14. Got a nice slate on tap. I got six props I want to share with you guys. Let's go ahead and get started. As always, if you enjoy the videos, appreciate the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out other links down in the description. And let's get it started. I got six picks, like I said. First one, we're going to do a little bit of a correlation. We're going over to Chicago, taking Justin Fields over uh, completions. At 17 and a half, he's going up against the Detroit Lions. We know last time face the Lions, uh, looks like the Bears were in control, and then the Lions had a nice comeback late uh, to get the win. But see if Fields are able to get the win. Fields and company is able to get the win this time around. He's been playing well. Last game, 27 completions, 28 against Denver, and uh, and then since he's been back, um, just missed it in last game against Detroit with 16. But we're going to correlate him over this time it's at home with his uh number one wide receiver dj moore take him over five and a half receptions i mean last time it was absolutely free against minnesota's line was four and a half and he more than doubled it got you 11 uh games with uh justin fields as a quarterback it's the games that dj moore's been really good this season uh he fields takes some deep shots with him he just targets him so much and they don't really besides him and cole Komet, they're not really using anybody else in the receiving game too much. So I feel good about taking those two to start. You know, that's almost 33% if, if Fields gets you 18. I feel like Moore is going to have six-plus catches. The third pick that we're looking at, we're going with on the other side of that game, do a bring back here with Amon Ross St. Brown at 75 and a half yards. Typically, he's always been right around 90 to 100 this year, if not well over this number. Last game, he had 49 yards in the first half and then did absolutely nothing. In the second half, no catches at all, which was shocking. But I think it's a spot where against the um, Bears, first game against them, you know, St. Brown did go over. And last week was just a, went over barely. But last week was also just the Sam Laporta game, which we know he went all for over 100 yards, 140 yards. Uh, I don't see him doing that back-to-back -back weeks. So I think we're going to see Amara um, St. Brown go back to his usual uh, yardage. The fourth pick that we're looking at is going over to Buffalo. We're taking uh, Gabe Davis. Uh, Davis over three catches. Every game is now a must-win for Buffalo. to keep their playoff hopes alive, going up against KC. It should be a high-scoring affair. Three catches, a push for three catches. Yards looks good. Fantasy score looks good. But I, I believe with Gabe Davis, a guy that plays 90-plus percent of snaps on re at receiver, sometimes 95, 96, he's going to get you three catches. Also going with his teammate, James Cook. He's been playing really well since uh, since Damian Harris got hurt, but also just the last few games he's been doing more in the receiving game, and he's been getting more on the ground. Three straight games, over 100 rushing and receiving yards. He did it against tough Denver defense and a tough Jets defense. Denver defense been playing a lot better as of late, um, you know, unlike the beginning of the year where they really struggled. But I think that they're going to continue to get James Cook the ball. He's, it's been working last few weeks. Did have could even had more against Philly, had some mistakes, but take him over seventy two and a half, and then last pick I'm looking at is going over to uh, Houston and taking Brevin Jordan over two catches, two and a half catches looks good, but I'm taking twenty three and a half yards. We know C J Stroud loves to thread the needle, take deep shots, and Jordan in his first start gave you sixty four yards. He played seventy five percent of snaps, so he's gonna be the receiver that, or he's gonna be the tight end that. Um, Steps in place for Schultz and continues to do that. And we know that they got a gruesome injury with Tank Dell. So they're missing a couple of receivers slash tight end. Uh, it's going to be Nico Collins. You're going to have uh, Noah Brown there, and you're going to have Robert Woods. But I also like Brevin Jordan to get you some targets, get you some catches, and I think 24 yards is really reasonable, even though it's against the Jets, who have done a good job at receivers. So hopefully maybe that one of, of Nico Collins – has a tough day against Sauce Gardner. He opens up Brevin Jordan, 24 yards. Super doable for any tight end, especially a tight end one with uh, C.J. Stroud as the QB. So those are the six picks I'm looking at. Fields over 17.5 completions. D.J. Moore over 5.5 catches. Amara St. Brown, 75.5 yards. Gabe Davis over 3 catches. James Cook over 72.5 yards. Uh, rushing and receiving and over 23.5 for Brevin Jordan. Best of luck if you are tailing. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you all next time.